We have a question. Since Jesus died on the cross and he paid the price and whoever believes in him is removed from the wrath and the punishment of God, does that mean a true follower of Christ is not going to be punished? Does that mean that I can go on sinning and living my life? That's a very, very good question. Um, followers of Christ and born again Christians, people that have the spirit of God living or, and residing on the inside of them, they want to live to please Jesus. They live to please Him. But we do have weaknesses. Mm. So if we fall in temptation mm. and if we sin, we are asked to repent, to ask God to forgive us. But a pattern of sinning day after day without repenting, it's a sign that someone may not be a Christian mm. or maybe a weak Christian that needs to be chastened by God and mm. disciplined. Yeah. What is the difference between punishment and discipline in that case? So punishment is for the world. Mm. It's for the unbelievers. It's for those who reject Christ, who refuse the grace of Christ, mm. dying on the cross for our sins, God raising him from the, the dead to justify us. Okay. So when, when we refuse that, we are punished. Mm. But discipline is for the body of Christ. It's for those who accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior. Uh, they are disciplined to partake in His holiness. I do have some examples for you. Okay. 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 9. Mm. This one talks about people who reject Christ. Now we're talking about punishment here. Who shall be punished? Like the unbelievers who shall be punished mm. with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of His power. Mm. So the Bible clearly says that they will be punished with everlasting destruction. When it comes to the believer, mm -hmm. Romans 8, 1 says, there is therefore now no condemnation. They are not condemned anymore to them which are in Christ Jesus who walk not, not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So when you walk after the spirit of God, there is now no condemnation. Mm -hmm. Well, John 3, 16, yeah. for God so loved the world yeah. that he gave his only, His true, His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him shall not perish. So yes. when you believe, you will not be perished. When you believe, you will not be punished. Oh, okay. That's the difference. Okay. But you will have eternal life. Now, how does God chasten us or discipline us? Mm -hmm. When we do not walk in His holiness, mm -hmm. when we start uh, walking in the likeness of the world, mm -hmm and sinning and being out of his will. Mm -hmm. There's a scripture in Corinthians, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. We are chastened of the Lord. Chastened means disciplined. Mm -hmm. We are chastened of the Lord that we should not be condemned with the world. You see, mm -hmm. chastened or disciplined. Why? Because we are not to be condemned with the world. Mm -hmm. The world will be condemned will be punished. Mm. But when it comes to the believer, when mm. we fall in, in sin, mm. we are chastened mm. of the Lord mm. that we should not be condemned. The word condemned in the Greek, it comes from the word katakrino, mm. which meaning God given an order to judge somebody to death. Okay. That's the, the literal meaning of katakrino mm. in Greek. So what kind of death? Eternal death total separation from, from God. Okay. If we are walking in sin, we have the word of God. We can read it. The word of God will correct us. Yeah. All scriptures are beneficial to edify us. We can pray. We can ask stronger brothers and sisters to pray with us. And if you're comfortable to share your weakness with someone you know that you can trust, yeah. you can share. So because this way it's better than being chastened by God and disciplined. Yeah. Yes. And it's for our benefit. It's, yes. it's not to hurt us. Mm. It's to, to, to give us a better access to his presence mm. and to be in his perfect will and to walk in holiness.